Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in this video, we're continuing the build on the D-Max and another really simple, simple install today. And it is going to be installing the Trax Electronics Auto Mirror Module, the P31, into the D-Max. Let's get started. Now this auto mirror module from Trax Electronic is pretty cool. It is a fully comprehensive kit and adds some extra smarts to the DMAC. They do do this module for all sorts of different makes and models, which is pretty cool. But what it does is effectively turns the auto mirrors into ones that actually function when you lock and unlock your car. So as you know, for some reason with these guys, when you lock and unlock, no action. You've got the button on the inside to, to to pull these guys in, but that's about it. For some reason, that's where the functionality ends. By installing the module that we're going to be installing today, what it does is give these some extra functionality. So when you're unlocking or locking, it's folding these guys in, particularly for you know car parks, that sort of stuff, keeping them out of harm's way. And if you've got the X-Train or one of the modules that has proximity keys, etc., you basically just, as you walk away, it will lock your car, but then also fold these guys in. And great news, guys. The legends over at Trax Electronics have one of these to give away to one of you. So all you need to do, check out the description down below. It will have all the details on what you need to do to win yourself one of these mirror modules. They're pretty awesome because you'll have, as well as the super detailed instructions that Trax actually provide, you'll have a video on how to actually install one of these cool modules. So if you're up for it and if you're keen to win one, check it out in the description below and best of luck. So here's all the bits and pieces you get with the kit. Includes the module itself, the brains of the operation, even down to the adhesive pad to connect that to the surface. We have the super high quality wiring loom there, complete with sheathing, the whole box and dice, awesome to see even zip ties and even a trim removal tool. So really great kit and it has everything you need. Let's get all of that into that. So everything we do here is from the driver's door and all the modules are located behind here. So effectively what we're doing here is removing the entire door card. But before we do anything, we need to actually lower the window itself. So make sure you lower the driver's window. Then the first thing we want to do is remove the quarter panel. And to do that, you can see that there's a little screw here. So grab your uh, Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew this guy. And then if you need to use your trim removal tool to pop that out. And then once you've got that guy out, just come around the side here and the whole thing just pulls up and out. Then you can just put that aside you're good to go there. And then the next step is to remove the armrest itself. So grab your trim removal tool, and then you wanna start working away along here. About There's gonna be white clips about there and there. And then in the middle, there's a little grab section that you need to push together. So, and it's easier if you get your hand under here as well, as well as sort of levering under here at the same time. And then at the back here, you'll see that there's a number of green clips like we've seen before. So they just pop up and out. And then in the front here, now there's a little white section in there. It's basically sort of a little arrow like this and it clips down through. So you've got to kind of depress both of those sides in at the same time. Best thing to do that is to either get some long nose pliers and press those two guys together or get a tool, a uh, circlip tool going inwards and then basically put that in there, jam those two together and pull up and out at the same time. And that's what that looks like. So. You can see kind of what I was talking about there. That sort of sits in there just like that. You want to get your pliers in just on that top section there. So that way the whole thing can come up and out. Then you can put this guy aside and move on to the next step. Now the next step is to remove the window fascia module here itself. And basically there's a, there's a little lug up the top here. So we're gonna start down this end and the whole thing should sort of swivel up that way so you can remove it and unplug it. You do have a handy access port here as well, which you can just sort of give it a, a solid tug there. And then that's where you can start getting access underneath. So just take your time and the whole module will pop out just like that. And then once you're at this stage, you can see we've got one clip there 
Another clip there, we just need to remove both of those harnesses. And you can see there the standard depress and pull modules. So it's just a matter of getting your thumb in there, pulling apart at the same time. And then once both of those are removed, you can set this aside as well. Now we're getting close to having the whole door card being able to be removed. You can already see we have one Phillips head there. We got another Phillips head there, but there is another one and it is hiding behind here. So you wanna get your trim removal tool here. You can see the gap just in there. So you wanna get it in there, pull this section out, just like that, conveniently caught by the door card. Set that aside and there's our additional Phillips head just in there. So the next part is just removing all three of those screws. Right, so the next step is to remove the whole door card itself, which should be pretty straightforward. You wanna start down near the speaker. There'll be a little bit of a lip you can hang on to just around the front here and give it a solid pull, just like that. And it should pretty well come away just double check like that and then you should be able to lift the whole panel off and once you're here at this point there are these couple of clips that work your door lever itself so you can see in there there's just a couple of little clips so so using these couple of clips here it's just a matter of popping these out and you can see how that works there that's one and the second one here as well it just pops out there like that then you can move the whole door card, set it aside. So first step we need to do is on our central locking is remove this connector. You can see it has a little push tab. So if you just push that down, it should pull straight out like that. Now grab your patch harness here and you're looking for the separate part of the wiring here. So you wanna grab the bit that has the purple and the gray, find the connection that is the same and you can click that guy into place just like that now once you've done that you'll need to pull this apart because you need the all of the rest of this to route back over here and down to this area if you don't do it that way the door card itself may struggle to fit on so this is how this should be looking nice and tidy you can route that up and underneath here behind the actual door handle mechanism itself and then down to the bottom here you can see that from here, we've got a couple of patch cables. So all nice and fused here, awesome. This, funnily enough, is the same as that for your windows and mirrors. And then we have the opposite, the other side, and then the same sort of story for our factory mirrors. So what you wanna do is just find the, the right ones and clip them together. And from here, we can start reassembly. Interesting side note, looks like the D-Max has six by nines in the front door cards. Bit of a bit of space there as well by the looks of things. So, hmm, maybe a bit of an upgrade on the cards in the future. Next, grab your module and your adhesive and we wanna stick that to that, just like that. So the next part is just to install the adhesive strip just there like that so we can Velcro it all together. So once you've got your connector in place, you should have three connectors. You've got one, two, fuse, and number three. Number three, this guy, is the one that connects into there. So what we need to do, these two here are the ones that connect into our window module that we removed earlier. So you wanna lift this door card up. As you lift it up, connect this guy into your module, and then through our little gap here, feed the extra two so that we can connect that back together. Now when you've got both of those hanging out ready to be connected back to our window switch, we can't forget to actually make this thing work again. So if you just sort of lean this forward and tip it forward, you can see that we have our door mechanism here and those guys just need to fit back in there that same way that we just took them out there before. And once you've got everything sitting in position, don't go installing everything else just yet. You wanna get your window control mechanism, plug them in, as you see there, pretty straightforward, they clip in, and then we wanna give it a test. So to do the test, to be able to close the door, of course, just reattach the door card. It just needs a couple of solid hits all the way around and those, those little Christmas tree clips will clip back into position. So wind your window back up and then what should happen is we should be able to hit the lock button 
And our mirror goes in. Fantastic. So it all works. And then when we unlock, boom. It's the simple things. So there we go. We just need to button everything back up. So the first step for reassembly is your screws. We need to put them all back into place. So the two larger ones, one there, one there. And then the smaller one is up under the trim piece for the door handle itself. Grab your module for the windows. You'll see that it has this little little lip in there and that needs to hook under here first of all. So make sure you're all nice and tucked neatly under there. And then you can just push this down firmly. So it clips into place just like that. The next step is to grab your armrest that we had earlier. You can see that we have our various clips. There should be five green ones and our little arrow. You just need to clip that one back into place as well. Then grab the quarter panel and clip it and screw it back into place. So that's it for the door card, all reassembled. So shut the door, grab the keys, press the button, and you should see the mirrors fold in just like that. So there we go, guys. Install all done of the Trax Electronic Auto Mirror Module. If you want to check out the rest of the videos that we've made so far for the DMAX, there's quite a few. I think we're up to about eight or nine. You can check the DMAX playlist and check them all out. I love nice and easy mods like this, but there are some beefier ones on the way. We have some suspension happening. We have full 12 volt system, lithium, red arc, the whole works is going in the back there. I'm pretty excited about that. Waiting for one more part to arrive and you're gonna see those videos probably in the next couple of install videos the next sort of two or three so keep an eye out for that if you did find this video helpful as always give it a bit of a thumbs up if that's your style leave me a comment on what you reckon what you reckon about these modules i reckon they're pretty cool if you want to get your hands on this particular module i will leave all the details in the description below they are really good value and really well put together kits so i encourage you to to check them out and if you're interested of course grab one for yourselves you've now got uh, a nice install video if you like what i do you like what you see here and you're keen to support the best way that you can do that is actually to share it you know share it on your socials that kind of deal that's probably the best way that helps the channel and i would really appreciate it more than anything though guys as always i hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.